Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and sorry you guys missed me last week, but I delivered my baby boy, Mello. So uh, that's why I was missing, but I promised to be back and keep giving you guys content. And just so you guys know, I did have a successful feedback. So I can't wait to share that story with you guys. As far as today, I'm going to be getting into what I packed into my hospital bag for myself and for my son. I wanted to film this video after I went to the hospital because I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys what I actually used, not just a bunch of mumbo jumbo that I threw into my bag. Um, this will be a fairly like minimalist video. I don't like to overpack for the hospital. So let's get right into it, starting with what I put in my bag. This one is a hat brand bag. This is Mello's bag. It is a diaper bag that I really like. It has a lot of pockets. It's really functional, but we'll get into this next. This one is originally Leia's diaper bag, but I brought it to the hospital for me. So let's go through it. Okay, for starters, of course, when you go to the hospital, they give you a hospital gown and everything. But um, after you deliver, you want to be comfortable and be in your own stuff. So I tend to bring um, some gowns to wear afterwards and I breastfeed. So everything I do has to have access to it. This is a, a gown that you get from Target and it's comfortable, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it has these, these buttons they loosen up very easily. So like literally by the middle of the night, I'm pretty much like just wide open <laughs> and not covered. Um, Cause these are really popular and they're on Amazon too, but I wouldn't say these are my favorite, but anyways, the point is bring a gown. So I bring a gown and then I also bring a, brought a long dress that it's a spaghetti strap dress where I can just pull it underneath my breast when I'm ready to breastfeed. Anyways, you know, you know your preference. So you just bring uh, stuff that you can wear afterwards. And I do nurse, so I brought a nursing bra, although I never put it on. I was just like free balling, but I don't have big breasts, so I can get away with that kind of thing. So I would definitely pack a, a nursing bra though, just to keep everything in there. And then if you do have leakage or anything, you can always keep your breast pads inside, which is also something that I pack. I also bring extra underwear. The hospital, they give you underwear and all that kind of stuff. They actually give you like the best mesh underwear. I personally love their underwear. I take some home with me, um, but it's still good to bring your own. And I like, I go with like the, these are like soft, very, very soft, kind of like granny panties. They're big, like you're not trying to, the amount of stuff that you got to put down there when after you deliver, like you need you need something to hold it all together. So I even put this on and then I put the uh, hospital mesh panties over it to like really hold everything together. But yeah, I bring a couple of these. I just bought a pack from Target and um, put this in my bag. So if you get the Freedom Mom postpartum kit, which is really, really good if you have a vaginal delivery, and they actually sell one for C-section too. But if you're planning on a vaginal delivery and you have the Freedom Mom uh, postpartum kit, I would leave it home because they provide literally everything you need in the hospital. Um, but I would go in there and I would take out a, a couple of these underwear. They provide you with these big, brief, short underwear. Yep, this is what postpartum life is looking like. And these help hold everything together, kind of like the mesh panties do that they provide. So if you want something of your own, then you can bring these, but really you don't need these. I uh, prefer to save these for home uh, and, and just use a, the mesh panties at the hospital when I'm there. But I would take the mesh panties out, the gown out, and the socks out, because that'll be useful in the hospital. Like once I get home, I'm not wearing the socks and the gown, you know? So the panty, the briefs, the gown that they bring has a, a open snap front and back. I did not use it. Um, and honestly, when I packed it, I didn't think I would use it because for me, it looks huge. It's a one size fits all, but this is pre personal preference. But I just would make sure that I open it and at least look at it and consider bringing it. Um, so briefs, gown, socks. Socks I don't have right here because I wore them already and I wasn't gonna pull up no dirty socks. Um, but yeah, those were those came in handy. I did wear my socks. And last but not least, uh, this is really useful too. I wanted to start off with something really light for after birth. This is like a girdle or whatever you want to call it, something that uh, really holds everything together. And it has a good, it has a, some good support without being like, you know, constraining like a um, like a real girdle or waist trainer. 
Uh, so this is really good. Although, once again, I didn't wear it, but that was simply because of my personal situation. Um, I was nervous to put too much pressure on my abdomen, which would then lead to pressure down there because it was a little rough down there. And I'll, I'll get into that in another video, a postpartum video. Um, I still would, I still recommend these. If I were to have these in my first birth, I would have definitely worn them when I was in the hospital. So aside from clothes, of course, you want to bring your toiletries. I just put a little bag. I put my main toiletries. I know some people go all in and they have like, I don't know, like oils and uh, this special lotion and like all that. I, I didn't do all that. Like I'm just getting what I need. I need my toothbrush. I need some deodorant. I need a body wash. And um, let's see. I bought gum because you mean it for a long time, okay? I bought, brought some gum scrunchies in case you need to pull your hair out the way because when you're in labor the last thing you want is for your hair to be in your face very annoying um and a razor oh and toothpaste or all the things that i bought that was it as far as toiletries I, i'm not i'm not like going you know all out with it because really at the end of the day you can show up to the hospital with absolutely nothing you will be able to deliver your baby and you will be just fine and have everything you need but yeah just a small little toiletry bag like this and that that did the job Oh, and then for me, do not forget this. If you wear glasses and contacts, make sure you pack this. Okay, very much important because we can't be blind out here with a new baby. Okay, so make sure you bring that and you know, extra pair of contacts, fluid if you need it. I wear dailies, one a day, so I just throw it in the garbage and put a new one. I brought this, it's a little tennis ball thing I have. This is for labor. So if you have like a tennis ball or something, it can help when you put pressure on the, on the back to uh, combat the painful behind contractions over okay. um and then electronics that's like a huge for me i so okay two things one the long charger like i gotta have the long charger i can't live without the long charger that's very much annoying to have to get out of your bed to use your phone or to keep it alive so i get a long charger i bring extra wall plugs um i even brought headphones although i didn't use it but i think it's good to have and um another thing that and I, my ipad and another thing that me and my husband find really useful that we use in both of my births is uh we brought a rock hoop so you can bring like a rock hoop or a playstation or whatever but like their cable is just so basic and very boring we were there on the weekend weekend is like the worst cable there's nothing on tv so we have a rock hoop and we brought it and we just connected it to the tv and we were able to get like cable or watch youtube or um netflix things like that so i would recommend bringing like a rock hoop or a playstation um yeah and then of course uh don't forget to bring like your id for when you go in and do uh registration if you're a breastfeeding mom um aside from the nursing bra i would also bring some nipple pads and like a nipple balm uh, just in case you start leaking you may not leak because your milk is still coming in you're just giving colostrum but it, it'll be good to have just in case you are like an overproducer and you start to leak and then the bomb will help with your nipples in case you have any soreness or dryness or cracking it'd just be good to have on there like preventative and last but certainly not least nursing pillow if you're going back and forth on whether or not you should bring it i would say go ahead and use it bring it i brought it for both liveries i use them a lot i use them for my son i use them for me it's just comfy and this one is from luna lullaby I, the last time I had the bobby pillow, which a lot of people use, but uh, my layer would always like sink on the inside and it just became really annoying. So I got this one and it, it people say it's better and it is better for me so far. So these are cute. I would look into it if you're looking for a nursing pillow. <laughs> but yeah, so as for my bag, that's pretty much it. Like as you can see, very simple. I do not overdo it. I just don't think you need that much. The hospital provides you with so much. And guess what, when I'm done, I take that stuff home, okay? I ask for extras and I pack it in my bag. They have the Perry bottle, they have the um, tux pad, they have the uh, antiseptic thing. Antiseptic sounds like I'm about to like clean my, my sink and bathroom down. But um, it, it has like a cleanser that you can mix in the bottle to, to wash down there after you do a vaginal delivery. They have pads, they have huge pads, they have like regular maxi pads. I mean, I just think that they have everything you need for down there. So I just don't see why 
bring the freedom mom kit or bring your own stuff and waste it when they give everything they give you is perfectly fine like things like that would be personal personal preference like you like your own stuff you you are very particular about what you like to use then in that case i would bring it but otherwise use the hospital free stuff please all right baby bag so baby bag is even less than my bag because all they need is you your titty or a bottle if you're doing formula and some clothes and really they provide the clothes they provide the formula if you need it and they provide the swaddle they provide everything but you know of course you want your own baby stuff so um i went ahead uh, i've just packed the necessities so of course you want to bring you know some cute little outfits the like the uh, first outfit or whatever whether it be something personalized with their name or if you just want to keep it casual like i did and i just simply brought some cute onesies um one of the things i brought was a a swaddle blanket these are from copper and pearl i love their stuff it's really soft and stretchy so it makes it easier to swaddle them because it gives you that like pull when you're wrapping it around and it also comes with a matching hat so i just thought that was really cute for him to wear while he was in the hospital um, and you know, I can use it as a swaddle to wrap him or a blanket. So with that, I also brought an actual uh, swaddle, muslin swaddle blanket. This one is an Aiden and an I. These are super popular. I prefer copper and pearl because of the stretchiness, but these work well too. And this one I usually, I mainly use as like a blanket to cover him. Um, so more clothes. I bought two, brought two more onesies. This one is the Kite Baby. I love the Kite Baby uh, onesies. They're both long sleeve onesies, long arm, long pants. Um, this is Kite Baby and this is Loved Baby. I like both of these because they're um, full zippers and you can zip them up from the foot up, which is good when you're doing diaper changes late at night. I would say the Kite Baby is probably the best because it's easy to like put on and remove, especially it's just like very thin, soft fabric. They have onesies for the baby. No, they actually have like a t-shirt and a swaddle that you can just use. And I did use that immediately postpartum. But then after we were there for a while, I'm like, okay, I want to put him in the clothes that I got him. So that's why I switched it out. And if you have a, a vaginal delivery, it depends on the hospital. For me, it's 48 hours that I had to stay. Some may do 24 hours. But so just be mindful, like you want to pack at least two days worth of an outfit. And if you're having a C-section, then I would add another day to my stay because they typically want, observe, want to observe the mom for a little bit longer. But usually what holds up the stay is that if you're doing a vaginal, usually what holds up the stay is the baby because they have to do all these tests and things on the baby and a lot of them don't start till like 24 hours after. So when you're there for a long time, that's usually what's holding you up. So anyways, for clothes, that's pretty much it. Um, onesies, swaddle, hat, blanket, um, and you can bring some socks, but usually the stuff for their age, like they, they have the socks. I mean, they have like the footy cover and they provide socks in the hospital too. They actually had some cute little blue ones. I also have burp cloths. These are important just in case they spit up, which they tend to do. I know Mellow spit up. So I use birth cloths while I was there. Um, if not, you can just use the little swaddles they give you. They have like plenty of them. And then I also brought my diapers from home. And I actually, I brought this thinking like, why am I bringing this? I know they supply diapers and wipes, but um, I brought these anyways and I ended up using them. They are coterie diapers. They're so soft, like you can use it like a pillow. And the only reason I used them was because they gave me a size one diapers, probably because he was a big boy. So they thought, he could do one, but they were too big. So these are my new newborn diapers. So I ended up using these instead. I could have just asked them to bring me size zero diapers, but I don't know, I was kind of excited about using these. <laughs> so I used these while I was there. And then um, Water Wipe is the brand of wipes that I go with. So I went ahead and brought a pack of these and I did end up using them too. So I did, since this is my second born, I wanted to do like a little gift thing for when my daughter came and saw Mello, like a gift from Mello to my daughter, Leia. So I had packed a little sibling gift. It was a t-shirt that said big sister and then Mello said little brother. The Leia wore hers, so I don't have it in here right now. Mello, I didn't put it on yet. I'm probably going to put that on when they're a little older. He's waking up right now. And as you can see for the baby, there's not that much stuff because they really don't need much. Another thing that's optional, uh, I know that I don't plan on using a pacifier immediately. I just want to try to like avoid nipple confusion. So I just didn't even bother packing it. But if you want to be safe and do that, you can. They typically do not provide pacifiers in the hospital. That's all I came with. And that is all I use. I was not missing one thing. So I think that's important to say for you to realize like you really, really, really don't 
don't need a lot of stuff. That's it, I hope that helped and I hope that let you realize that you really don't need that much when you're going to the hospital. And worst case scenario, they have everything you need so you can come empty handed, just bring your ID. <laughs> Stay tuned for my other videos, postpartum, delivery, how my birth went, my VBAC, and catch you guys next week.